It's April from April's Home and today I'm here with an absolutely huge grocery haul. You can see my entire extended table is just full of groceries. I decided to do a huge pantry stock up as well as pick up some of the things that I was out of and I hadn't been to Winco in again probably over three or four months maybe. It, it had been quite a while since I'd been to Winco and um, I was really excited to see if they had their bulk goods back open, which they did. It was so nice to be able to pick up a few things in that department. This is one of my favorite stores for stocking up on pantry essentials. It's a really nicely organized store and they have a really incredible selection. So it was really fun to drive into town. I stocked up on a ton of stuff. So this isn't just a month of groceries. This is more than that. A lot of these pantry essentials on this side of the table will last for quite a few months. So I thought I would share with you some of the things that I've purchased, um, both my fresh food as well as my pantry stock up. And again, I got this all at Winco. Okay, so we'll start over here with some of my frozen foods and my produce. I have been really enjoying baking yams, so I got two different varieties. This one looks a little darker than this one, but these are nice and big. I wanted to bake up some sweet potato fries, and um, I also just love cooking them up. Even my dogs have been enjoying um, having some sweet potatoes munched up with their food. It's been really helping their stomach, so we um, stocked up on sweet potatoes. I also picked up some gold potatoes, and let's see as well as some frozen little corn on the cobs and it was cherry season so we got a big bag of cherries i'm really excited to do some uh, recipes with these cherries so you can see how beautiful those are it is definitely starting to be cherry season with summer this weekend starting and that's when i love to buy cherries and start cooking with them and then another super exciting thing that I found when I was there, I had forgotten all about it being really close to cotton candy grape season. And these only come in every so often um, to my Winco and we always are on the lookout for them. So I was super excited that uh, the day I was there, they were fully stocked on cotton candy grapes. So I bought a couple of bags of these so we can snack on these over the weekend. They really do taste like sweet cotton candy. They are one of my favorite treats to get every year when they come out. This will be nice for Father's Day weekend. I got a bunch of radishes here. You can see two giant bags full of radishes. I'm going to be making um, spicy pickled radishes, um, sort of a refrigerator pickled recipe with those. And I picked up some onions and I needed some cilantro. Some of the cilantro in my garden is still good, but I needed a little bit more than what we had in the garden. So I picked up that. And I also picked up some frozen chicken tenderloins and frozen boneless skinless chicken breasts. And then these I saw, and I'm setting them aside for 4th of July, the red, white, and berry blast popsicles. So I thought those would be really fun. And I got a few frozen items, some steak cut fries and some of the California blend steamable veggies. We also thought these looked really good. They were um, gold and white corn with carrots and asparagus. And then just some basic broccoli and then a steamable Asian blend. And then two bags of fish sticks, potato crunch, which sounded really good, and then the crunchy breaded. Then I picked up one beef pot pie for me. I sometimes like those for lunch. And then I picked up a few things from the bulk section. My favorite dried pineapples. I love these for snacking. They were already in um, this size of bag. They were like pre um, bagged up. The ones that had a handle that you could release, you could bag your own, but the ones that were in the bins, a lot of them you had were uh, pre-bagged. So I wouldn't normally have purchased this many, but I do love them. So I thought that that would be a fun treat. And I got a big bag of soybeans. I have a couple of recipes that I've been wanting to um, try out with these, and um, my local store doesn't carry them as far as I have found, just like basic dried soybeans. So um, picked up a big bag of those. I have again a couple recipes actually that I want to be trying with those. And then also from the bulk section I got these here. They're lentils, but you can see that they're kind of a little bit different um, 
color there. They are French green, I believe is what they were called. Yes, French green lentils. I love lentils. I usually just get the standard lentils, but those looked really um, pretty, and I thought that they'd be fun to try out. So that's pretty much all I got in the bulk section. I did get some other dried goods, though. I picked up a couple bags of pearled barley for my vegetable beef soup, some garbanzo beans, some black beans, a couple bags of black beans. I got a couple bags of the um, extra wide egg noodles for a tuna casserole that I'm making coming up. That was on my meal plan for this month. And the uh, medium shell uh, pasta. Then I also got some of these little uh, mini jar pastas and alphabet pastas. I thought that it would be fun to make an alphabet soup. And then this is the pasta that I put in my beef soup. The little, I think it's a Cini di Pepe or something like that, but the little tiny round balls of pasta. And these look like they'd be good for a casserole or um, something along those lines. The thin vermicelli, I thought that, that looked like they'd be handy to have. So I picked up a couple bags of these. These were very inexpensive. They were like 44 cents for this bag. So I thought that that was a really good bargain. I didn't need that much in the dairy department. So I just got one little pot of peach yogurt, a pound of butter, some of the little single sliced cheeses. These are what I happen to prefer with uh, little grilled cheese sandwiches. Um, I think I'm the only one that eats these, but I really do love them. And then also some low fat cottage cheese. Me and my husband have been enjoying cottage cheese and peaches. So got another um, tub of that. And then some of our milk. Also got a tube of pork chorizo. Thought I would use it to flavor some of my recipes. I've been wanting to experiment with a pepperoni, um, sort of like pizza casserole. Um, I was thinking of doing that around 4th of July. I will be doing another grocery haul a little closer to the beginning of July where I'll share that meal plan. And then I picked up some smoked sausage that we'll probably eat with the potatoes. And I also got these adorable little mini street tacos. I thought this was the perfect size for a little lunch uh, quesadilla or little um, pork tacos or something like that. So I got a few of those. I'll probably toss one in the freezer and um, have the rest on hand. And we got some really fun little snack um, items here. This was a treat that I thought would be, again, fun for Father's Day weekend, Dr. Pepper flavored cotton candy. It'll be really interesting to see if that really tastes like Dr. Pepper. And then the Smart Food Caramel and Cheddar Mix is my absolute favorite popcorn mix. And we also love the Ritz Crisp and Thin Original and the barbecue version of that as well. My husband likes these Nature Valley Crunchy Granola Bars to uh, bring with to work. And I also got some more dehydrated little um, fruit chips. I got pear chips and blackberry apple chips, which sounded really good. For the dogs, I picked up their favorite little marrow snacks. And I don't usually buy them stuff like this, but I bought a little bag of this. I promised them a treat and they do look through the groceries to see what I brought them. So I figured I'd bring them that. Picked up some bit, just basic white bread. We hardly go through bread around here. So I usually just buy a very inexpensive loaf, just enough to make a sandwich or two during the week and then toast with eggs in the morning. And then these are uh, one of my favorite things to have on hand in the pantry. If I don't have time to boil up and make my own mashed potatoes, or if I just want a really small batch for me and my husband when it's just me and my husband, I love these. They're really good flavor. They have little chunks of baby red potatoes in them and uh, definitely something I love to keep on hand in the pantry. So I got a couple of those. I used my last, my very last tea bag of the Twinings English and Irish breakfast teas last night. So I'm glad I was at a store and picked those up. I've been enjoying tea in the afternoon and sometimes one before bed. So I picked up those two. I also picked up a big box of red rose tea. I haven't had red rose tea in quite some time, so I thought I would um, try that one again as well. I used to drink this a lot when I was younger. Um, so again, I um, wanted to pick that up again. I really miss the little figurines that they have in the tea. I don't think that they have them in there anymore. I actually have an extensive collection of, they're called Wade Whimsies, and they used to be the little porcelain figures that would come in a red rose tea box. Um, that's something I'll have to share with you sometime, my little uh, little collection of the little figures that came with the Red Rose Tea. Then I stocked up a ton on hot cereal. I was in a hot cereal mood. They had a really good selection, um, so I got some Zoom. This is just 100% whole wheat hot cereal. And I got maple and brown sugar malto meal and a regular cream of wheat and cream of rice. This is my favorite. 
And I've never had grits before, and I know that um, quick grits aren't really the authentic way to have them, but this is all our store had. I just thought it'd be really fun to try out grits sometimes. So picked up some of these quick grits, and I'll have to see what those taste like. And then I found a new Lucky Charms that looked really yummy, Lucky Charms Honey Clovers. So it says it's made with real honey, and that sounded really intriguing. We don't eat much cereal around here. We usually just use it for snacking and things like that. We don't eat it for breakfast, but this one looked like a really fun um, treat to have in the evening or afternoon for a snack. Then I picked up a box of all bran um, cereal. I use this to make bran muffins. And in the breakfast category, I got some pancake syrup as well as some boysenberry syrup. And then some more little pantry baking essentials here, some Crisco, some vinegar, this I'll be using this for my pickled radishes, some tartar sauce for the fish sticks, some raspberry vinaigrette for all the salad that's currently growing in my garden, some more cooking oil, and then finally, after months of looking, I found a big bag here of yeast. I've never used this brand before, so I'm really hoping it works. I was going to pop that in the fridge or a freezer, I should say, um, so it lasts a while because it's a nice big package. And then I also got a few of the little Red Star um, packets of yeast. I usually use Fleischmann's. I still haven't been able to find that, but I was just super happy to find yeast at all. I've been really wanting to make a loaf of honey, um, whole wheat honey bread, and I needed some yeast for that, as well as a cinnamon roll project that I'm hoping to do at some point. So yay, I was very happy to find that yeast. Another thing that has been on my list for a really long time that have been out of stock everywhere was the nonfat dry milk. That one also came back in stock. I was really happy to find a big um, bag of the instant milk. I just like to have that on hand for baking. Um, I don't go through a lot of milk normally, so if I'm out and I need some for a recipe, I know I always have a little stash of instant. Also a um, thing of the cultured buttermilk blend. Again, it's hard to um, keep buttermilk on stock, but if I need buttermilk for a recipe, you can use this. So I got some of that, which was also nice. Picked up some, a couple bags of brown sugar, some cornstarch. I found also the little can of instant dry milk. This is a little easier to manage in my pantry, um, but it was nice to be able to find some, so I stocked up a little bit. Got some mild taco seasoning packets, a little random thing of fruit crisps, a little freeze-dried um, Fuji apples that looked cute. And speaking of little um, kid, like kid-friendly snacks, I also picked up something for my grandbaby to have on hand here. He's been eating these little um, teether cracker things and this one looked really good a blueberry and purple carrot variety so it says it's gentle on the gums he seems to be able to eat them really well so i thought it'd be nice for him to have a little treat at grandma's also if we're having a family meal and nothing we're eating is good for him thought i'd pick up a couple of these as well so i got sweet potato apple and corn and pear and purple carrot and a blueberry. So both of those sounded really good and I just thought I'd start keeping a few of those things on hand just in case. And back to some more pantry essentials. This isn't really essential. My husband um, found this. It's uh, Nissan Rao. I'm not quite sure what it is. It looks like a miso flavored ramen type soup. He loves things like that so he picked up that to try out. I got these little recipe secret um, powdered soup mixes for recipes again. Have on hand golden onion regular onion, which I also use as a dip, especially during the summer, for chips. And then onion mushroom, again, just for recipes. And this also goes in my sausage rice casserole, the noodle soup. I picked up some roasted red bell peppers in a jar, some sweet and sour sauce, and a mayonnaise, so just some um, condiments there. I also picked up some more yellow mustard. We've been going through that quite a bit and more baking essentials, some baking soda and baking powder. And I got some of the apple cider vinegar, the Bragg variety. And we decided to go with less sodium soy sauce. Um, we are trying to kind of start to watch our salt intake. We don't use very much soy sauce, but we thought we would give this a try. We usually just use standard, um, but we thought it'd be worth a try. We like this with rice and some of our different um, Asian meals that we cook up, I use this as flavoring. And then more for cooking, some chicken bouillon. This is the loose variety. I love just popping a little bit of that in soups. Here's the beef variety. Just in case it's lacking a little flavor, um, that'll really punch it up a notch. 
This is something I've never tried, but I thought that I would try it. I've seen a couple of uses for this, and um, I was just really interested in that. It's a tomato bouillon with chicken flavor. Got a couple of those, because they only have the little small container. And then also, this is a chicken flavor bouillon as well. I thought I would give that a try also. And then I got some raspberry muffin mix. I don't find that frequently at my store, and I really do like it. It's kind of an old-fashioned thing that I just enjoy to have in my pantry. Some pancake mix some Biscoff cookie butter. Me and my husband both love that. And then wheat germ. I've been out of wheat germ for a really long time. I love adding this to my granola, my homemade granola. And then this is a brownie mix that we've been loving lately. I make this for family dinner night from time to time. And I just used up our last two boxes. Um, I use two boxes at a time because they're usually for an 8x8 eight eight pan, so I put two of them in a 9x13, so it makes plenty for the whole family. I also haven't tried this Suddenly salad in a while, so I thought I would try this ranch and bacon. I've never had that variety before. Just looked like something fun to have in the middle of summer. I picked up some extra hot Chinese mustard. I also like that with rice. Some minced garlic. We love this on popcorn. This is a ranch seasoning powder. This is my favorite seasoning for chicken, Montreal chicken. I needed some more black pepper. You can see lots of just real basics, just stocking up on. Again, these things will last me for months. So this is a big trip. I usually make trips like this quarterly at the most. Some imitation vanilla flavor. I do have a real vanilla, but occasionally, if it's just for a quick little recipe, I don't mind using the imitation, and it saves quite a bit of money. And then I picked up some peach preserves and then a bunch of canned food here. I'll come around and show you those. We have some French onion soup. I bought four of those. I use this in my beef tip recipe um, that I make that I love. Some beef and barley soup. I like that for sandwiches. A little thing of chicken broth and mushroom, golden mushroom, also for cooking. And then I thought I'd pick up some potatoes to have on hand if I needed canned uh, potatoes in a pinch. And then I thought I'd try this beefy mushroom. I hadn't tried that before for cooking. It looked like it would be a good addition um, for cooking. And then a uh, can of beef consomme, a can of evaporated milk, a couple cans of this soup, baked potato with cheddar and bacon bits. It just looked good. Some maraschino cherries for like ice cream uh, sundaes and stuff. This is something I haven't had in quite some time. Thought I would try that again. Um, some brown bread, canned brown bread with raisins. Sounded interesting to try. And then canned corned beef. I always have that on hand in the pantry. Same with deviled ham. I make a wonderful old-fashioned sandwich with this that my grandma taught me. Um, it's a rolled sandwich with the deviled ham and then green olives. It's absolutely wonderful. I thought I would try this. I remember a recipe that called for this and I didn't have any on hand. I don't remember what the recipe is, but I remembered that I had wanted to have that on hand. So some uh, crema table cream in a can here. So I thought I'd get that. I bought a couple of jars of dried beef. Uh, I got the Armour brand and the Hormel brand. This is what my grandma used to use to make uh, cream chipped beef on toast. Definitely a throwback uh, classic recipe there. I just had a hankering for that. Thought I'd put that perhaps on the July menu. So I picked up a couple of jars for the pantry. My husband and I have been loving artichoke hearts so I picked some of those up a can of Rotel, a can of tuna, a couple of cans of olives, six cans of tomato sauce. I've been using this for um, uh, Mexican rice and it's been turning out really good. I used to only use a mix, like a little box mix to make my Mexican rice, but now I learned to make it from scratch and it's much better. And I've got some fire roasted diced tomatoes, love those. And a can of salmon for salmon patties. And some corned beef hash for the pantry as well as some lima beans there. Then in addition to the salmon, because the salmon was pretty spendy, the canned salmon, I decided to get this uh, mackerel, um, chicken of the sea mackerel in a can. When my grandma would find this on sale, it, uh, back in the day, she would buy this and we would have, um, instead of salmon patties, we would have mackerel patties. And it works the same way, but it's significantly less than the salmon. So, I mean, it still tastes really good. So I thought I would try that again. I got a couple cans of this just to see if it was still good and still something that would be an option in place of salmon from time to time. And I got a lemon pie filling. 
I like to keep those on hand for quick recipes and same with the cherry um, pie filling as well. We use this for topping quite a bit. Then I got a big bag of the Golden Star Thai Jasmine Rice. We haven't been able to find the Golden Star for a long time. This is our favorite rice, so um, my husband was especially glad to see that. So we got a nice big bag of that as well. Then a few last little goodies for the summer here. Um, Biscoff, this isn't really for summer. This is for me and my husband coffee. They come in little individual wrap packages. We really love the flavor of Biscoff cookies, as well as the cookie butter. And I got three pies for the freezer, um, some cherry pie, apple pie, and peach pie. We love to pull these out from time to time in the summer, so we'd be all stocked up for the rest of summer with pies. These pies are particularly hard to find in the grocery store in our town, so it was nice to find those when we were in the Winco. Then I got everything to make s'mores, just in case uh, we decide to do that for Father's Day weekend or for Fourth of July weekend. So some um, graham crackers and some marshmallows and some Hershey bars. Um, I also got two of those, um, just in case I decide to make a Hershey bar pie. It's one of my family's favorites. This, I picked up a little 25 cent thing of lemon heads. I was talking to my daughter about these little boxes of candy the other day when she was over and how I used to just love to buy these at a little corner store when I was a kid um, and how I hadn't had them in years. So when I came across them, I thought I would pick one up and try them, see if I like them as much as I did when I was younger. And then I picked up a few of the little nut-free cupcakes just for our weekend. Then again, for summer fun, got a few Jiffy um, pop uh, popcorns, and then finally found the raspberry iced tea and peach iced tea. These are the um, variety that have just regular sugar, not the sucralose, which is really hard to find around here. So super happy. Been looking for peach iced tea for quite some time in this particular powder variety. So I love those raspberry and peach during the summer. So we're all set with that, and I believe that that is everything, with the exception of one little item that I brought home as well. Thinking of the summer, I decided to get a new aloe vera plant to plant in my kitchen, um, just in case we have a sunburn or something like that, and we want to have a little fresh aloe vera. Wow, we are definitely stocked up for quite a few months in the pantry essentials category, but it's nice to be stocked up so I don't have to go out to the store too often. And then also picking up some of our fresh foods as well. And I thought I would go ahead and share the total for this a very large pantry stock up. In the past, people have been interested when I've done the really large stock ups, how much those grocery hauls uh, came to the total. It is a little bit subjective. Food prices can be subjective as to where you live. Just for reference, I do live in Oregon about an hour outside of Portland um, and I'm again I'm shopping at Winco. Winco is a wonderful store around here they have a lot of bulk foods the prices are really competitive I myself live in a smaller town with one grocery store and that grocery store is is a nice grocery store but it is a little bit more expensive so it definitely pays to drive into a larger city and um, shop bulk and shop uh, larger grocery hauls here so that I can get all stocked up to last for quite a while. Again, this grocery haul um, will last quite a while. A lot of these items won't need to be purchased again until next year. And this was really a big uh, grocery stock up. So the total for this and this trip I also did buy um, a couple things that I didn't share with you, some Ziploc uh, food storage totes, uh, some toilet paper, things like that. A couple of the things I did buy doubles of that I didn't um, show here. So that does uh, raise the price a little bit. It was a very, very large shopping trip. You can see the receipt here. And it was $523.98, which I recognize is a huge amount of money to spend on groceries in one fell swoop. Um... Again, this is a stock up. I have been making really small trips here and there and not doing any really big stock ups for quite some time. So I had the money in my grocery budget to go ahead and do this. This is not the amount I normally spend on a big grocery shopping trip like this. It was definitely huge. I was a little bit shocked when I saw the uh, price. I knew it would be a lot, but um, I also knew I was stocking up and I did stay within the budget that I set for myself. Um, you can do this. Sometimes it actually pays to spend a little bit more all at once as long as you keep your food rotated and um, use that food and keep it stocked nicely. Then it can actually save you money by making your trips to the grocery store a little less frequent. Every time you go into a store, you spend a little bit extra, so the less frequently that you can go in the store, the more you're going to save. 
So I just thought I would share that with you for those of you who like to know the total there. Um, very expensive haul, but also very nicely stocked up for a very long time, and I'm really happy with that. It's going to be nice, and I do like to uh, keep my shopping trips lately quite a bit more infrequent than I used to. Again, I'll be back with another grocery haul at the beginning of July with my July meal plan. I'm also trying to film... Um, as many dinners as I can remember to film so you can see some of the dinners that we made this last month for dinner ideas. So be looking forward to that. I hope you enjoyed checking out this gigantic grocery haul from Winco. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe for more videos from April's home. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.